Hey guys, it's Mel. Um, this is just going to be like a random chat video. Um, some card shares, some haul shares, um, and just some random chat as usual. I you'll always get off topic. Um, I had to go into work today and yesterday, which normally are my days off, but um, I now I'm supposed to be resting, but I'm not. It's too boring. Um, but I am, t I feel tired, but I got a million things to do. My house is a mess. You know when you go on vacation and you're kind of like looking for this outfit or that thing and you just kind of leave your house? Like, I try to always clean it so you come home to a nice clean house, but it didn't quite work out. Um, so I'm trying to catch up on laundry and things like that. So anyway, um, first I'll start with my Canon selfie. Quick question. Um, I had trouble this time. I know it prints straight from the Wi-Fi from your iPhone. But I had trouble this time doing that. I finally got it to work and I printed this picture, just this one. Um, but do any of you know, I need to get, I have a MacBook Air, meaning there's no, in the MacBook Air, I think it's made for like the airport, it's lightweight, my laptop, but it doesn't have a disk drive and I don't have the external one you buy and I don't really plan on buying one. But um, how do I get the software from the selfie onto there for when I want to print pictures? Like I, I found a cable thanks to Miss Popsicle Toes if you're watching. Hello. Um, but I found the cable that will work with it, but I need to have the um, Canon selfie software on my computer. But how do I get it onto my computer if I don't have a disk drive? Now, I thought to go to the website and download it, but everyone I found, it's not working. Does anybody know or have the link to that? If you do, I would greatly appreciate it or find out how you did it if you have a Mac too. Um, I'm just not that great with computers, so it could, again, be something simple, but um, I just was having trouble with that. So I want to get that working because I have more pictures on my, because I took them from my camera card and loaded them onto here, and I don't know how to, uh, I guess if I email them all individually, get them on my phone, then to work them with PicFrame or whatever. But I wasn't intending on doing all that, so we'll see. So if anybody knows how to answer that, let me know. Next, I want to share a card um, that... This just made my day, and she sent me two of them. Um, they came spread out. This one came right before we left. And Miss Heidi, um, she's Heidi Brawley, I believe, here on YouTube. She is um, a very good card maker, and um, she was in, I think it was our Christmas, it was the start, was our Christmas card club, and she is very talented, like many of you are, at making these cards. Um, she's one of those that even do up the insides, like Marilyn and all you guys out there, but um, I need to get a little better with that. But she sent me this card and it was wrapped and she must have used her envelope maker and it was wrapped in like a pumpkin with pumpkin paper. So instantly I was attracted to like the fall and stuff. Um, so here is the card that she made. And I think she made this for a challenge and we're friends on Facebook so I get to see all her lovely projects she makes. But um, isn't that so cute and the layering and the um, embossing on the little leaves that are popped up. And she's bobbing for apples and it says wishing you a fruitful fall fruitful however you say that and um with the butterfly and the diamond and on the pretty fall paper and then on the inside it says dear mel and maya and maya got so excited when she saw her name she's like it says me it says me um she got as excited as i did um and it says the breeze the breeze tastes of an apple peel the air is full and smells like smells to feel uh, autumn oh my god i totally messed that up here, you guys read it because I just read that wrong. But and it says Happy Fall, Love Heidi and Brooke. And look, she did the layering. And I have an I have this um spellbinder. You can even see like how she flipped it over and embossed around the edge of the um apple. Um so and also around this little shape too. So I have this apple spellbinder, I just haven't opened it yet, so I'll have to pop that out and then she has her name stamped on the back. So it came in this cute little envelope, and then um so that's been on my shelf with all my fall, see my fall thing back there, Heidi? It's it's on my shelf there with my other fall stuff. And then when I got back, I got this. Oh, I was getting ready to show all our addresses. Let me see if I can quick cover it. But she stamped it, see fun on the back and on here. But this one I um I got and I brought it to work with me because I got it and I was leaving for work in the morning. And um, my client, she loved it. So we have it up on her shelf. So it's kind of making her day. She's been sick lately. She's um 87. So um, she has it right on this like window that she has. So um, I let her keep it there because it kind of she kind of really liked it. So um, so thank you for sending those, Heidi. That was very sweet of you. And I wanted I wanted to share the Halloween one on here too because it had all the pretty purples. But um, maybe once we after Halloween's over and I get it back from her if she ever gives it back to me. So thank you again for that. Um, other than that, I got a couple, not much at all. Some little things that were I was waiting to come. 
that actually came while I was gone in Florida. Um, I got this stamp set and it's from Peachy Keen. It's going to be really hard to see because it doesn't have the packaging. But it's a decent size and I got it for $4 on the scrapyard. So maybe you can see that there's, it's like a beach theme. There's octopus, seahorse, um, starfish. I swear when I do videos I'm like, um, did I say walrus already? A smaller um, starfish, a crab, a bigger crab, a blowfish. That one's cute. Um, I'm probably like way glary, but, um, and just some bubbles and stuff. So this was $4 from Peachy Keen. I love Peachy Keen, the quality of their stamps. So I got that one. And then from the same seller, I don't know what this was, if it was $4 or $6. It was no more than $6. I got this Martha Stewart. I hadn't seen this one. I don't know if it's older or what, but it's one of them ones that, um, it's a punch. And then it has a couple different if I could get it out, but well, you can see. There's a couple different, and here's one stuck to here, different pattern stamps that you can stamp the stocking and then punch it out. So I thought that would be cute. And I, again, with these, I try to get ones that I can use over and over, not one that you'd only use once. So Christmas theme, Christmas comes every year. You know, you can use these and just do different patterns and change it up. And that can be like a staple of your collection, we'll say. So I got that. And then I just wanted to share... Um, oh, I forgot to share my paper. I'll share my paper. I got more paper for my Disney to finish my Disney album. So I'm so excited. So I got a lot of pictures. And if those of you who've seen my, um, my album share, it was just a few photos from it. But I'm so proud of my husband. And I know this is going to sound silly, but ever since even high school, well, we met actually in middle school. He just hated pictures. Like he hated pictures taken of himself. He wasn't loving to take photos. And that's when I started scrapbooking was after we had our daughter because... Um, she took pictures. She couldn't have, she was too young to have a say in it. Um, and then he kind of warmed up to see like, you know, well, if you're not in any of the photo, you know, things like that. So he was so good. He took so many family photos. Um, I was just so proud. So, and I'm happy for the sake of our future scrapbook, like I said in the video. So I got some papers from Miss, um, Devin Hickman on, um, the scrapyard. So I have to share that. But what I wanted to share was, and I know this might seem like it's going like backwards in time because that's kind of what I thought and that why it's, it's been for a while that I've liked their I guess products we'll say but I never really like pursued it and that is of Kiwi Lane Designs but I always like their layouts when I go when I went to the few scrapbook expos that I went to um, they had beautiful projects yeah you know, just like the papers that they picked um, but I just thought I could do that with my Cricut I could make that cut with my Cricut I'm not gonna pay for these templates blah 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 but I got sucked into it only because I saw some projects made and this was um, $10 shipped on eBay. And I got, the one I picked was um, Holiday, Kiwi Lane Holiday, Holiday Designs, I think. But it has, it's just a mixture. There's a leaf, um, a pumpkin, a ghost, if you can see that, um, a little Christmas ornament. And they all come on this little ring and it has this little packaging. This is like a holly leaf. This is a poinsettia, I believe, um, or you could use it as something else. This is supposed to be a snowflake. You tuck it in, and this is like a half, like a tucker in our Christmas tree. So I figured I'd start with this one, and I put on the scrapyard on in like an ISO, which is in search of. Um, those of you who aren't on there or didn't know, I had to learn all this stuff too when I got on there, not what BTT and bump means and all that. But anyway, um, when I was on the scrapyard, I put in search of, I said, is anyone selling any Kiwi Lane stuff? Because... They're not super expensive, but between that and the shipping from their website and the fact that I don't know how much I'd really, really use it. Um, so sometimes when people resell something, there you can find them a little cheaper or at least cheaper shipping. Because um, sometimes websites, they're like a flat rate of $8.95 and you hate to pay that for something small. With that being said, I put an ISO on there in search of, and my good friend, she's Miss, uh, she's jazzy and some numbers on here, but she's Miss Martha. So hi, Miss Martha, if you're watching. Um, she... And also, um, Spring Chick 28, I think it is, um, Monica, she um, was telling me that they had some layouts of the Say Cheese line that I'll show you in my papers on another video. But anyway, I said I was in search of, I didn't want to get like the, I wanted to try at least one of the strips that they do on the bottom of the layouts. Um, and then also, I thought it would be a great idea, they have the little, their little like photo 
they're like made out of this clear material and then they have like shaped photos so they might give you two uh, three by threes two um four by threes um maybe three four by sixes just different variety size of photos so that when you're planning your layout you can put them and then they're clear this isn't one of them, but they're clear and then you can lay it out and say, oh, I could fit another photo here. Or if you don't like that, let's set up before you glue everything down, you can kind of place where you go. And the fact that they're clear, if you want a photo this size and say, we'll just say that this is your photo, but you'd probably have a smaller one. And maybe you just want this one, you know, this one size. So you could lay it over your photo and whoops, let me put this here. Lay it over your photo and just trace it out, and then then you have your size that you need. Or see, before you cut up your photo, you could say, "Oh no, I wouldn't be able to fit everybody in this one shot. I better go to the bigger size," and vice versa. And then they also have a matte size, like they say they have the three by three. Then they'd have a slightly bigger one to make the photo mats. And just their 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 layouts look really nice. So I thought that, and then they have them all. There's say Ki Kiwi Lane designs, and then have like a um, eyelet with a hole that you could put on a ring binder. So you could use it every time you're planning a layout and just say, oh, I need this size photos or whatever, and you know what to print. Um, but Martha, she said that she could get a hold of some of this plastic stuff that she just made her own. I thought, that is a great idea. Um, the crafty mind. So she sent, she said, I have a few extra, and she was so kind to send them to me. So um, I just, I only made one so far because I want to see if I can use my other trimmer to, um, it's kind of thick plastic. But this is like the perfect, same exact stuff here. Um, actually better because see how this one's a little bit more, you know, see-through. Um, where there's a see-through, but um, not quite as, and this is like perfect to trace around or whatever. So anyway, I want to try my hand at the Kiwi Lane designs, and 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 it can also make um, if I cut like here's a sheet of it. If you cut along the bottom, make your own like swirly thing. So um, I might still in the future get the Kiwi Lane um, design things, but this is um, this will be great for the photos rather than you know because that's easy to do. So I just want to share that with you guys and kind of say hello. And um, again, if any, if any of you missed those videos, we had a great time in um, Disney. We had perfect weather, even though my sister looked up the day before we were going and it said it was um, like 90% chance of rain. So I thought, oh, where, what did I do? Plan our vacation on like the worst time. But every it did not rain not one day we were down there. It was like perfect weather. And we were out, up and out from early in the morning till like late in the evening coming home from those parks. So... So yeah, so I was very thankful for that, and it's it's been raining every every day since we've been home. But I'm kind of just like happy because I'm like, you know what? I'd rather do it now while I'm at work and not doing anything than when we were at vacation. So I'm being thankful. But anyway, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to share my um, it's just paper, but it's from the Say Cheese line. I got the bigger 12 by 12 sheets, and there's a couple other ones mixed in there. So thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.